A fumigation technique that first caught the nation's attention during the anthrax attacks could be the answer to a lot of problems in Louisiana. Rusty Dornan shows us how the unique treatment is helping a lot of folks in New Orleans, including one of its most famous restaurants. Try to clean things. So that it's growing in the Lombard house. The more you grow about uh, four or five feet here, it's black mold. They say it's really toxic, really bad. It covered parts of Bob DeFelice's restaurant. And if, you, if you look down here, you can kind of see the black mold kind of taking over the weaker mold. As it has in thousands of homes on the Gulf Coast, like this one. Outside, it looks relatively untouched. But inside, there are heartaches and headaches for those trying to rebuild. Wes Alden, a local doctor, has two children who suffer from asthma. You know, I was concerned that the house might not actually be livable when they came back. We might be able to salvage those. Like many, Bob DeFelice, owner of Pascal's Manali, a New Orleans restaurant institution dating back to 1913, was facing weeks of work, ripping out and rebuilding all his interior walls. That's the standard treatment. Then he heard about a gas fumigation system, a system that would sterilize his restaurant, every nook and cranny, without rebuilding. The company, Saber Technology, used the same gas to decontaminate Capitol Hill following the 2001 anthrax attacks. Turns out, chlorine dioxide kills everything from termites to mold. Parts of this house were flooded with eight feet of water. Yeah, you can smell it. I mean, it, it's, every, the it's everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Can you save a place like this? Absolutely, absolutely. And structurally, most of these places were sound. They sat with water and they were like incubators for our, for uncontrolled mold growth. But these places did dry out, and particularly lath and plaster construction, very typical around here, remains hard even on the waterborne. Back at the restaurant, DeFelice's employees were told they could bring any moldy items. All the mold in the closet. So we went along with sous chef Carmen Provenzano to grab some clothes at his wrecked home. I'd rather take a chance and see if it can be saved. Provenzano hung the clothes in the restaurant's closet. The building was then tented and the gas pumped in. Twelve hours later, the gas is gone and we followed DeFelice into his restaurant. This is incredible. I'm just totally blown away. Look at this wood here. I mean, that was just so dark before. And it's, you can see the, all the grain. What about Carmen Provenzano's clothes? Everything's a little dirty still, just given the situation, but it's definitely clean. You can smell the difference. You can see the difference in the, the there's no mold on anything. <laughs> Chlorine dioxide is a pesticide approved by the USDA for everything from purifying drinking water to keeping baby carrots from getting slimy. It costs about $8 per square foot to treat mold with chlorine dioxide, putting the price at under $40,000 for an average house. It won't repair water damage, but it does eradicate mold. And for Bob D. Felice, that means the famous barbecue shrimp will be back on the menu by January. Rusty Dornan, CNN, New Orleans.